So now I'm going to show you the final stage of sheeting the croissant. And then we're going to turn it into croissants, escargots, almond croissants, chocolate croissants. And don't try to attempt this when the weather's 40 degrees outside because it's not going to happen. Your butter's going to melt. Now this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to roll out to about an inch. Okay, so you can see how the butter's been distributed evenly through the croissant, right? And you want that to happen so all the croissant has got butter through it. Now it's really coming together really nicely. So this is the real way that the, the way they used to make uh, croissants. Well, when I started my apprenticeship, I remember making uh, the puff pastry like this, all by hand. Okay, now that we're ready, we're gonna cut the dough with, uh, you can use a pizza cutter. I'm gonna use the crossfit cutter that I've got. So we're gonna cut it down the center. So out of this, we're gonna have uh, plain croissants and almond croissants there. We'll leave that one for escargots. Okay, for the triangle ones, are gonna be our plain croissants and our almond croissants, and I'll show you how to do that. The square ones are gonna be our danishes, all right, and the other two will be our chocolate. And this one here, it's got, I'm gonna show you how to make escargots out of it. Okay. Now we'll go back to our uh, croissants, our pl plain croissants, you put a little nip at the top, you roll it over, and then you roll it. And you pull the tail and tuck it under. Okay, now we're up to our second lot of croissants and we're making the almond croissants. This is the almond cream we made last night. Just a teaspoon. So we'll tuck it in just like uh, you're tucking in a nappy. Like so. Get some almond cream. Then we spread it on top, like so, and we we'll dip it in the almond flakes. Okay, now we're going to place them on the tray. So this is good because uh, they'll start uh, rising, and that's what we want to happen. Okay, the rectangle ones. I'm going to show you how to make the danishes out of it, and using the almond uh, cream, corner to corner. Right, once we get to that stage, same amount of almond cream on top. And we'll place them on the tray. Okay, this is the ganache that we made uh, the other day, right? And these are the other two rectangle ones that we're going to turn into uh, chocolate croissants. Okay, the reason why I'm putting two, um, two rows of uh, chocolate croissants is the way that I fold my chocolate croissants so you get more chocolate in there. So what you do is you flip the first one over halfway and then the other one the same. Okay, with my last piece of croissant dough, all right, I'm gonna show you how to make escargots. All right. Using the almond cream. You also can use custard if uh, you've got custard ready to go, that you've made. And now I'm gonna add some sultanas to it. Okay, so now we're rolling it into a scroll.
Okay, so you get a log like so, and it's like a scroll. And now we're gonna cut it into four pieces, like so. So what we do is we tuck it under, like so, and we'll place it on the tray. And the reason why we're tucking it under, if you don't do that, it will end up opening up while it's proving and it's in the oven. Okay, so what we've made out of that one kilo of dough, we've got some plain croissants, uh, uh, danishes, almond croissants, chocolate croissants, and escargots. And then after we're gonna glad wrap them and put them in a warm place. When you're putting the glad wrap on it, don't uh, put it on tight, just nice and loose, because these are gonna double in size in the next hour to hour and a half. Okay, so they've been sitting for an hour and a half. You can see how big they've gone. And now we're gonna go put them in the oven, at the preheated oven at 180 for about 20, 25 minutes. Now that I've taken them out of the oven and let them cool down, now I'll show you how to finish uh, the danishes off and the chocolate croissants. So I'm gonna put uh, some fresh strawberries on it. Now you could also use berries uh, that you can buy in the supermarket, the frozen berries. There's raspberries and blueberries. So this is my finished danish. Now I'm gonna uh, finish off the almond croissants. We're just going to dust it with a little bit of uh, icing sugar. This is the ganache that we made uh, the day before. So I've just uh, microwaved it for about 30 seconds. So it's a little bit runny. So what we do is just flick it on like so. So we just flick on some uh, ganache on top. Then we just dust it with a little bit of icing sugar. A lot of viewers, as you have witnessed Dominic and his skill at making these amazing pastries, 24 hours, that's the result. Uh, absolutely amazing, the smells are fantastic. It's just, ah, oh, absolutely wonderful. Now, let's recap what we have here. We've got danishes. Danishes. Right, with strawberries and the almond cream. Uh-huh. Right, we've got the almond croissants. Yes. Same filling that mm -hmm. I've used for the danishes. Right. We've got our chocolate croissants with uh, the chocolate ganache. Pain au chocolat, mm -hmm. pain au chocolato. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our escargots. Escargots, escargot, mm -hmm. of course, meaning a snail. That's, That's right. A, right. And of course, these are the traditional uh, croissants, as I said. The one, people in France know that they're always in that shape. When you see the crescent ones, they're just they're just not really using the, the real thing. Um, the one thing that, as I said, you want to end up with a beautiful, flaky pastry. It's lovely and crispy, and then look at that. You can see, light as a feather. Bueno. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this episode on croissant and the skill, of course, that uh, Dominic has brought to this program. Now, on that note, do you know what I'm waiting for? Your espresso. Okay, El mio es like uh, espresso. All I right. really want to enjoy this fantastic uh, cornet. They call these cornet in Italian. Right. Or brioche nel nord. Do you know yeah. that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're from the other end. I'm from mm. that end. Alla prossima. Grazie. Un gran bacione, caro. Ciao. Ciao, ragazzi. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.